Hi guys, welcome. Hi Kenny, Dawn, Abby, welcome. How is everyone? I don't know what happened then. The sound went weird. Anyway, hi. Um, I'm here. It's Monday. Yay! Well, it's Monday here. So, hi Tara, welcome. So, uh, yeah. Happy Sunday to you guys on that side of the world. Happy Monday, guys, on this side of the world. <laughs> I'm good, Kenny, thank you. Thank you, I'm good. Hi, Cab, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Come in. You do? Oh, that's good, Dawn. Um, and this is actually a request, so even if you're here, we're doing your request today. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be here. Uh, Kelly, hello. Amanda, hello. Welcome. Linda, hello. So, um, I still have not, uh, got anything back from Ennis for the, this month's, for April's colour along. So hopefully that will be very, very shortly. Uh, I just got a message from Sherry Baldy. Uh, she's got a new freebie going. Um, I just posted up. Rita Berman's freebies that are on at the moment. Um, make sure you're in the Facebook group where I've been linking all of the freebies that have been available for the quarantine and self-isolation. Hi Dorothy, welcome. Hi Marie. Hi Robin, welcome. So, um, Anna Hannah Art. <laughs> Anna is a Polish artist. Um, I've popped the Etsy store in the description below the video. Also, I've popped the link to this image and uh, her other social media details as well. Hi, Yvonne. Welcome. I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, and yes, it was requested, so I thought we'd do this today. For patrons, uh, I will run through and do a colour list for you and a conversion to pencil for those uh, that want that, that will be available to patrons. And uh, I think I'm going to use, I don't know, mixed media, you know me. <laughs> Hi Pam, welcome. A bit of everything. What would be a good pencil set to start with? <laughs> Sorry, for me, <laughs> I think that uh, I love my Polychromos. They're the best pencils that I've brought. They last, they have lasted me the longest. Um, I've only replaced maybe two pencils in six years, say. Gosh, it feels weird saying that. It's been so long. <laughs> and uh, I really love them. I quite like Holbins too, but um, Holbins, they're not as... I found that they're not going to last me quite as long as what a Polychromos will, that's for sure. Uh, Polys seem to be one of those pencils that just goes and goes and goes. Hi, Sylvie. Welcome. <laughs> I don't mind Pablo's either. I've had a little bit of luck with Pablo's, but still high on my list for durability, uh, cost effectiveness, color range. Um, I'm going to stick with Polychromos. So that's my opinion, of course. Everybody likes things different. 
I don't mind my Prismacolors, but they don't last very long. Same with Luminance, they're a beautiful pencil, but they don't last very long. So, um, just, you know, be weary of that when you're buying new pencils, of course. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi, 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 hi. Okay, well apparently YouTube still doesn't like me and still hasn't updated and Faber Castell works for me too, yeah. Yes, brilliant. I actually wanted to do a video one day. Um, I have the Derwent Artist, you know, the current set that you can buy of Derwent Artist, pe Derwent Artist pencils. And um, I actually have my grandmother's set of vintage Derwents and uh, Derwent Artist. I don't think I have them all, but what I could find. <laughs> And the difference between the Derwent artist that she has here purchased in like England, I don't even know how long ago now, are completely different to the set of Derwent artist pencils that you get now. Completely different. Um, I almost don't want to use them though. Because <laughs> they're so pretty. Anyway, I will do that one day. I'm sure. Hi, Mikey. I still don't know if I'm saying it right. I still don't, really. Let me uh, go in a little bit here. It is stunning. Uh, I actually have printed off another one. I don't remember what this one's called. <laughs> I have to have a look. Uh, this one is called An Encounter at the Edge of the Forest. And I kind of felt like these kind of went together. So the, the lake and there's a lake in this one as well. And uh, I kind of felt they would be a really nice pair uh, to go up framed on a wall. Uh, I also purchased, uh, you know, I just went crazy. I purchased like four of them. <laughs> the uh, In the Flutter of Wings and Mountain Woman are two others that I also purchased. Haven't printed those out though. But beautiful images. just got a notification saying you just went live well thank you for telling me that because I didn't know anyway <laughs> very pretty images uh, this one and the the in the flutter of wings one uh, is also very similar to this one as well I think they could all go together maybe as a three a three set but um very pretty beautiful images and the originals are absolutely beautiful as well so Yvonne did you want me to like try to copy the original image like is that what you were thinking um so I'd like to the original image is really pretty and it's called Emerald Lake so I feel like I have to do it I have to do it like the original <laughs> hi Lulu welcome Uh, Kenny just posted up the link, Sylvie, so you can grab it from there. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna color it with markers and whatever else I need for this beautiful picture. It almost looks like she's got like apples or something in her hair. I don't know what they are. They could be apples. I don't know. They could be birds I'm not sure <laughs> it's, a, it's just like pretty patterns in it like I don't know very pretty anyway we're gonna color it 
sound good? I didn't hear back from Yvonne there, but I think I'm going to go similar colours to what the original artist has done. Because it's pretty. So uh, I think we'll just start with the skin, hey? Get my magic markers out. <laughs> That's what it feels like anyway. Anything new uh, for people this weekend? Anything happening? I've got E04. Everybody healthy, I hope. Hi Renee, welcome. Hey Kenny, amazing person there. We're posting links and saying hi to everybody. <laughs> and Abby, <laughs> thank you mods. All right, uh, I'm just using the E04, which probably needs the nib replaced. Can you see that? It's got a bit of a, you might not be able to see it actually. It's got like a bit of a dangly bit on the nib. It doesn't like me. It's just gonna make my life difficult. <laughs> I find that I have to replace the nibs on my skin colors way more often than any, anything else. In fact, I don't think I've actually replaced nibs on any other marker except skin and black. Probably because I use it the most. Hi, Sealy. Welcome, mum tested negative. Oh yay, did she get to come home then? Ah, oh, that's a relief. Big, big relief. I watched the documentary Tiger King. Oh, I haven't heard of it. Lulu White. Oh, not sleeping well. Yeah, it's very hard in this time. Oh, good to hear, Renee. Happy to hear that. I've been uh, diamond painting all weekend this weekend. Linda and I have been doing a, a bit of a collab, I guess. We're just doing the same, same diamond painting at the same time. So we've been keeping each other updated on where we're at and how far we're along. Which is kind of cool. On Netflix. Oh, okay. I have to check it out. The lady is here in Tampa. What's that? I'll sleep when she's home. Good. <laughs> My dad, uh, I haven't seen him in a little bit now. He's just told work, no, nah, I'm going home. Um, there's a group of ladies in his work that 
weren't sticking to the safe distance thing and they're just getting together in their little group huddle and chatting and he's like it's just impossible like do they not see the problem with it you know he's a uh, 60 and uh yeah he just worries he's like uh, he's in that age group where he doesn't he's not, he's healthy but at the same time he's still at risk so yeah i said to him good stay home don't work but that means we don't get to see him either. <laughs> we don't. Which is hard. I always see him every week. We'll have to do some video chatting, I think. Hi Helen, welcome. watched uh, Lock and Key yesterday, the whole first season again. It's quite a good show and uh, obviously I hadn't watched it so I uh, thought why not put it on again. Just going over all of the really, really dark areas first with this E04. Very carefully. Concentration is uh, totally crazy. Totally worth it. Alright. <laughs> Who's popped in while I have my head down? Hi Nana, welcome. Still, you'll know she's home. <laughs> Netflix, yes, Lock and Key. It's back. Key, lock House? Key House? I don't know. One of them. <laughs> I've just watched it, but you know. Uh, it's a, it's like a teenage, sort of teenage kind of themed TV series about a family that moves into a house with these magical keys. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good. I, I enjoyed watching it for the second time even. Saw some things that I may have missed in the first watching. So <laughs> it's always good. I think I'm nearly done with this dark colour. Let's leave it at that for now. Oh, the order's good, but they've only got one season of that too. I was kind of like, I want to see the next one. The order.
I've got year 11 <clears throat> and uh, my ears keep popping so excuse me for sniffing there just gonna blend that out Carefully. Oh, you're welcome, Nana. Anna, Hannah, Anna, Hannah Art. <laughs> we can thank Yvonne for that. She had something to do with it. <laughs> This was a requested image, you see. So, cannot take all the credit there. Just going over the top of the E04 and blending this out. Uh, you don't have any WIPs. I have a whole pile full now. Um, I never used to either, Nana, but uh, doing live and Patreon, I just sometimes they just sit and don't get finished. <laughs> Sometimes I'll start them and I, I can't get back into them. Or I didn't get into them to start with, so they just sit there. And uh, don't get finished, fortunately. Sometimes no matter how beautiful an image is, you, I can't, not always need, like there's a, sometimes that sort of, I don't know, it's like you go to do it and it's just nothing you do works. And uh, sometimes I feel like instead of, you know, I don't know, letting the artist down. I just prefer just not to finish it. happen all the time but it does happen it is it is hard to go back. <laughs> Some books are absolutely beautiful and I really want to do an image and then I just get to it and I just just go, mm. I don't know, it just doesn't speak to me after I started or I don't know, it's hard to explain.
My creativity just goes, what are you doing? <laughs> why? And I do not know why it happens, but it does. And then I look at other people's, you know, that they've done of that and I'm like, why? Why can't my creativeness just do this picture? Why is it so hard today? I do not know. Is what myself says. <laughs> I do not know. I don't know, yeah, maybe. You don't know, that just moves on and you go, yeah, I'm over that one now. Don't need to do that. <laughs> I don't know. E21. start to fill in some of this skin now here on top chat no party there today <laughs> Renee I know um, it can be hard can't it trying to go in between some of these darker areas down here which I'm going to try to reserve for some colour These fingers are kind of bleeding into each other here. Bleeding. Keep bleeding. Anyway. A little bit of a collarbone there, maybe. Oh, that looks okay. <laughs> I just fill a few spots in here. Hmm. 
looks good so far she's a little bit ugly duckling but that's okay and guess what you'll never guess my marker's running out you know the good thing about this though is I actually have two of this number so I'm just going to grab the other E11 <laughs> and have a go at that oh who's at the door <laughs> oh no yay it's okay I have another one she's got nice long fingers I really wish my fingers were like that. Get off my page. It's starting to come together. Come together right now. Anyway, <laughs> E double zero. This one I have my refill out because I know when I was doing it the other day it was used a fair bit. Shoulder kind of comes across here in that nice light area. So for Australia we've had even more restrictions from lockdowns, especially Victoria and New South Wales. Definitely need to refill that one. Hi Loretta! Did you get my message? <laughs> what happened Sparkle? I'm just looking now, Linda. Hi Pam. Oh Linda, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, hi Selena, welcome. Welcome. 
Come on, come on, come on. That just went everywhere. Now I've got sticky fingers. Aw, thanks, Linda. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, my stepsister just texts me, just checking in, is everyone okay? What's everyone doing? With this paper though, I like to try and let it dry before deciding because it takes a little bit longer than like marker paper to dry. Uh, this is the Strathmore, uh, Strathmore mixed media paper. It's 190 GSM. I've got a link here if you're wanting that. Really? You can't hear me? Oh, that's weird because I'm on full volume. I'm on full volume. Okay, now last colour for the skin, I've got E000, uh, and I'm just going to come in over the top of these light areas now, just finish off those. This paper bleeds. A little bit more than other papers too so I'm just careful I've got a little bit of bleeding out here but the sky is actually quite dark there so that's actually going to be fine I still have like I don't know rough patches through here so I'm gonna use some pan pastel and just soften things up a little bit I'm just gonna let that dry though first I've got a little bit of mm, let's have a look um, 
Oh, what color is to do? She's got kind of neutral colors, but um, let's do some pinkish kind of lips, I guess. <laughs> pinkish. Very good language there. Very good language. Very good. See, I can't even talk now. Very good English. I've got a uh, two zero uh, the nips. Put that, a little bit of that in the corner of the eye there, and uh, let's do the fingernails of this color. Fingernails down here. Missed a little bit of finger here. Uh, the only reason I've been using Strathmore is because a lot of people found it hard to get uh, Nina that I was using. Uh, I like Strathmore because I can use. A mixture of things I don't have to just use marker I can use marker and watercolor I can use pen pastels and pencil um, it's a bit of a mixed bag one <laughs> Don't give it to it. <laughs> okay, so far I need to lighten some things here. What have I got? A little bit of titanium white. of areas here on this skin just to lighten them up slightly Express it? No. No blending on Express it. Express it does not like water at all. Um, it's also, it's not too bad with a little bit of pastel on top of the marker, um, but it's not like amazing either. And uh, it does not take water at all. Express it. It pills and goes weird. It does. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. So that was titanium white. I'm just going to add some burnt sienna tint to 
here a couple of spots that the colour was a little bit, I don't know, rough looking. Just wanting to smooth it out a little bit. a bit better. Let me just brush it off and get rid of the She's trying to talk to me. <laughs> Hi Lulu's kitty. <laughs> oh cute. Shadow's asleep right now. She's off um she's off sleeping in her little spot that she's got. <laughs> uh, I just want to add a tiny little bit of this is going to seem weird but I've got um, just permanent red I just want a tiny dot on there and uh, I'm just going to mix that with the white a little bit on the eyelid there and on the top of the cheek blending it out with the white Yeah, a little bit of a pink shine on her cheek there. Shine, pink blush, pink, pink flushed. Pink, pink and pink. <clears throat> pink, pink and pink. All right. Now I need to do something with her lips here. A little bit too light. A bit of R22. R hug I'm just going to do the darker spots in the nails with this as well oh, that finger is so odd shaped <laughs> it probably won't look good until I uh, put the background in I'm going to say blending it off just slightly with the R20 again Now white pencil to do some of these highlights. So I'm going to use, you know it's because I've got it here. Bit of a highlight. Some of these lighter sections. Can hear someone having breakfast in, in my kitchen. <laughs> tink, tink, tinking with the bowls. Happy 
happy with those highlights at the moment and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see those a little bit better once we uh, start adding in that background a bit around the outside of it okay let's do our eyes oh wait no I need to put a little bit of um, white white gel pen in her lip Okay, I, oh yeah, I know, what a pain. <laughs> I have um, issues with it too, Loretta, and it, it's not even showing me how many people are in chat. That's how frustrating it is at the moment. All right, I'm just going to be back in two secs, guys. Back. sorry <laughs> my bladder can't handle it <laughs> all right let's start to add uh, some color around her and her hair so it's called emerald lake we need some like emeraldy green colors what have I got bye Renee Thanks, Dorothy. BG78. I'm just kind of dabbing this color in because it bleeds a little bit. And uh, BG75. Not that you can see that very well. I know, Kenny. I can't help it. <laughs> ah, there will be uh, Renee. Uh, I'll do that as soon as I can. I can't help it. I've got my luminance there. Lighten that a little bit. And um, <laughs> I'm going to put in a bit of a highlight there. We need to add that that uh, pupil back in too. <laughs> I know, I know, I can't help it. You gotta go, you gotta go. It's actually not too bad in the afternoons, it's the mornings, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I just sharpened my luminance. Mining around the outside of the eye. And now we need some eyelashes. Hi, Diane. <laughs> so I'm just going to. I think that uh, that 
Copic multi liner is a little bit too small. And then we found a larger sized one. Let's go with 0.3. A little bit bigger. Oh, really, Kenny? <laughs> I've always had issues. It's, um, since I uh, was diagnosed with fibro, though, I, I think it causes a lot of my issues as well. I'm not sure I did it justice in her eye there. It looks kind of weird. Yeah, we'll get over it. <laughs> the eyebrows went a little bit too thick. They blended together. I should have kept the smaller liner. There you go, fixed it up a little bit. Her eye looks half closed now. It's actually not too bad, I quite like it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yep, I'm weird. Anyway, I got a little bit of BG23. And... I'm just going to line the size of all the area around her face here. And start to do the background a little bit. Zoom back out because I'm really close there. Over this side. My sister in law's nickname is Lulu. New Doo. PG fifty three. It's a little bit more blue. It's like watching magic. <laughs> Trying to get the shape of her face without uh, making her look too strange is is not easy. Take your time. <laughs> There's some kind of like swirly sections behind here. So I'm going to try and stay in that sort of swirly kind of direction, <laughs> try, 
and uh, this looks like it might be part of I don't know the sun maybe back here so uh, just gonna do some twisty turny bits Gonna go back in with that green again. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> a bit more green. There's also uh, bits of purple through. So I'm just gonna. So this is still BG twenty three. And that was BG53. Now I've got something slightly darker. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of BG49 in some of these darker lined areas. I'm going to kind of blend this into her hair a little bit here. dark spots at the back there there's some tree branches kind of coming up into her hair as well so No, not really. Truly, not really. <laughs> You're putting pressure on me now, guys. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. BG01. This is a kind of blue. We're going to add some normal greens in here soon. Just concentrating on that background a little bit first. Alright, now um, there's a bit of a purpley sort of colour here, so I'm going to go with some BV. Double zero. Oh, yuck, Loretta. I'm so sorry about that. There's no good. Just adding some BV double zero through the background here. Gonna add a bit of this into the trees. Mm. 
there's definitely a balanced pan we just gotta have a good play sometimes to find the balance between light and dark and through that background. And now I'm doing it, it's nothing like the artist version. But you know what? I like it anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, do you me? Okay. Oh, that's a bit of purple in there. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of BV four zero. Oh, the rudder, really? <laughs> oh, dear me. You're game for attempting it. Uh, I've got B double zero, sorry, B triple zero. Coming in and trying to fill out some of the gaps in here. I don't want it to look too muddy, so... quite happy with how that's coming out. That scale is very cool. Let's hope we can get the water very cool. <laughs> very cool. New bit of yellow now. Let's go with Y double zero. through the hair too. Just 
especially in those nice light areas. And uh, all the way over here. We'll go a bit brighter in some of those areas for now just enough I don't think I could do it well who knows <laughs> What am I doing? Fixing up her eyebrows a little bit. Let's go in with a little bit of that BG75 again. And uh, I want to put some of this purple through her hair too. So this is BV00. away from myself. Oops, opening the wrong program here. Try that again. <laughs> Camera, action. Yeah. I think I'm going to need a brighter purple than this. What have I got? <laughs> she looks funny. <laughs> Let's see. I need something. I'm going to go with V12, uh, V15 maybe. V15, that's better. A little bit darker. Just doing a few streaks here and there, following the hair down the skin there. I'm actually hungry. Strange. <laughs> I'm having a moment. I feel like pancakes. Very hard thing to make when you can't find flour. <laughs> I definitely feel like pancakes. Right, adding this into the tree. Z. The trees is this. Bye, Dawn. Oh, mushrooms. Mm. We used to grow these massive mushrooms on our farm called horse mushrooms. You can't eat them.
kind of a matter of just swishing through the colour now. Alright, yeah. I love this guy. It's coming out awesome, hey? PG-23 again. I like that mix of colour. A little bit of BV double zero. And I'm going to add some brown, red, orange through here. yellow I think we could go a little bit lighter again so uh, a little bit darker I should say why 11 I'm just gonna blend some of this through here couple of specks of that through there Y38, which is an orangey yellow. Just do a few flicks of this through here. There's like some um, kind of orange spots through here as well, but uh, I think I might go darker than this through those areas. I don't know yet. I'll just have a play and see what looks best. You know. <laughs> a little bit weird at the moment isn't it it's all good it'll come together come together again okay let's go with some e74 Yeah, Pam, it's been hot, hasn't it? It's still, we had a nice hot day yesterday and the day before was quite warm. Just making this part of the tree color, adding some brown in there. I hope you can hear me okay still. Kind of a muted brown though. It's not like too strong yet. We'll just gradually build up. E 
some of this from these dark strands of hair. Basically everything is coming in together. Sorry, off camera a little bit there. So I was going to stream tomorrow to finish this one off, but um, it might have to be Wednesday now because Lisa Matrokin is streaming tomorrow at this same time. And um, I'd really like to go and see that. I miss them usually because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> her, her and her hubby are going to be playing some games. Alright, let's start to add in some of our brighter greens. Thanks, Diane. So some brighter greens now. Oh wait, before I do brighter greens, I'm going to add a little bit of YR65 in that hair and especially in the trees here. A little bit of that orange. Let's fill in some greens. So they're kind of like yellow greens. So I'm going to use some YG17. Kind of using the belly of my marker a little bit here to get some nice thick thick lines so basically the colors that we've all done just there underneath are like our base colors and we're just going to come in now and fill over the top with the green and those colours will just come through, hopefully. That's the idea, anyway.
trying to smooth some of it out a little bit. All right. Going to do some patches of bright yellow. Too cold there, Amanda. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, it's my fault you're staying up late or you stayed up late. Sorry, can't help it. It's early here. I've got a Y04 and I'm just coming in and adding some bright green, yellow I should say. I might need something brighter than that. Let's see. No, let's just stick with that. Alright. Um, if I go and add in some white... Oscar. And uh, I'm going to start putting in some little highlights all around here now. There's like little paisley patterns throughout it, but uh, I am not going to sit and do all these little paisley patterns, sorry. Very nice. Hi Bernard, welcome. Peoples, do we know what we're doing? I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's use a little bit of that green YG17 and let's do some YG13. YG13, let's do that first. YG13 and some YG21. Oh, Bernard, I hope you're feeling better soon. Coming across the bottom. 
come into the water. This is YG21 if you missed that before. bit of the BB-15 Just a cough, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> just a cough could be many things, couldn't it? A little bit of a BG49. Just be careful, please. Just a cough. Just be careful. <laughs> Pretty please. Some PG. Fifty-three. I can smell food cooking. My son must be cooking his lunch. That's what I can smell. See, that's why I'm hungry. <laughs> it's not food. Such a pretty lake. Adding a bit of that uh, YG21 just down the bottom here. And I've got some BG23. Oh, does it, Kenny? I'll be quiet then. Shh. Kenny's listening to ASMR. Oh no, I just want to risk in. If I can blend it out with a bit of E, triple zero. Ah, look, it worked. 
I'll put a little bit of white on there. You won't be able to tell. It's all good. <laughs> it's good. That's a BG23. I'm going to cut this picture out too so you won't be able to see these edges when I'm done. Okay, uh, what's missing? A little bit of a BV00. Lots of vest top and flip flops. <laughs> Thongs in a singlet, Aussie speak, for vest and flip flops, <laughs> uh, BV00 this is. Hi Alicia. Ew. You're done with one class and now you're just going to come and annoy us. <laughs> I'm just taking. She's looking pretty cool. That was Y11. Um, let's see. I've got a little bit of BG34. I haven't used this yet. You should see my pile of markers right next to my desk, by the way. Now. Nah. Massive. <laughs> uh, BG34. Let's add a little bit of this into our trees here. sure if I do yet but ta <laughs> ta alright YG17 I think we need to add some of this in the tree here. Just some spots around it. Now browns, I'm gonna use the E77. Me, what do I do with all my finished 
pages. They go in a folder. Nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. Or I'll give them away. Just adding some of that brown into these streaks that are going down. room anywhere to keep the amount of images that I've done That branch went a little bit thick. Let's do a couple of really thin lines out of that one. Well, thanks so much, Helen, for being around. Oh, Nana, you're going too. Bye, Nana. Bye, Nana. No worries, Kenny. <laughs> Bye, Lily. Everyone's leaving me. No. <laughs> I'm not finished. I've got like 15 minutes. I am going to finish it today. We've just got the rocks to do and the rest of this cute squiggly little tree here. Nice. All right. 
outside a bit of that YG17 down in here. And I filled out that little tree area. I'm just going to go and dab in some more green. And there's some like ready red color through there. So I'm going to go with R05. Thanks, Abby. Thanks, guys. I'm almost done. And uh, just going to splash a few spots of this through here. So it looks like kind of apples, sort of in the original image. So let's just say that's what they are. <laughs> and there's a few through her hair too. So I'm gonna go pop a few of those areas in. the water what do I need though I feel like I need maybe a splash of white through there um, let's go with the white luminance obviously don't want a reflection over those shadows that are coming over the water. Just get rid of that. But I like that. That looks good. Let's do these rocks and I'm done. And uh, I've got some uh, V15. Why would we make them normal coloured? Why would we? Going with a bit of BB23. I've used a lot of BB colours this week last week because it's new fresh this week for me so <laughs> got some BB20 Some of the greens that we've been using. I've got uh, let's go with BG23, a little bit of green. Oh, hiccup. Um, 
Let's add in a little bit of YG17. I hope I've been saying these clear enough for you if you wanted to use these colours again. Bit of seaweed or something. <laughs> A white gel pen. I think I need a few spots of that in the water there too. Alright, I think that's good. I think there's just a little patch on top of the shoulder here. I just want to fix that with some E triple zero. And some white. I think I'm done. What do you guys think? Am I done? <laughs> I think I'm done. She's pretty. I really like her. Awesome. I'm so happy. I'm done. Thanks. <laughs> I'm done. Now, I'm not sure when I'll be back, but tomorrow Lisa Matrokin is on at the same time I started today. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same time my time. Um, so I'll be over there checking that out. I might be able to make it back on Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and then we're supposed to be starting a colour along on Friday with Ennis, but um, I haven't heard back, so uh, I don't know what we're going to do. If we don't, <laughs> we'll figure it out, won't we? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!